I used to go to the doctor every so often, and of course he would check whatever figures you check, basically. As those the figures kept getting a little worse and worse, he finally decided to, you know, maybe it's time to go on, uh, on dialysis. Because at first I said, that there's no way. You know, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going on dialysis, no way. A lot of people get that diagnosis of end-stage renal disease and it's like being hit in the face with a bag of nickels and they kind of get stuck there. This was a gentleman who had kidney disease. He developed kidney failure very late. Hello! So I'll present treatment options to people and then tell them all the options that are available. Joanna, at the end of that session, she'll ask whether the patients would consider dialysis an option for themselves, if it's something that they would consider as a treatment. It's a great option to do home dialysis, but it is a lot of responsibility and, and it's, it's taxing. Sometimes people just need a Hand up. So good to see you. Good to see you. Our unit downstairs is an amazing example of teamwork. Little high. I don't think any one person could do it alone. Take it again in a, in a few minutes. Okay. And as a physician, I mean, I heavily rely upon our nurses, on our dietitian. We've got to keep that protein where it is so we keep you out of the hospital. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And our social worker. How are you doing today? Good. Good. May I give you a hug? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to help make a cohesive plan or a comprehensive plan for the patient every time they come to see us in the clinic. You know, a lot of what they see in medicine these days is a lot of fragmented care, but at least over here, they're seeing the whole team come in. The flip side of that is, you know, as a provider, you know, I get a lot of satisfaction in that. That way I know we're all on the same page. Can I take a look at your catheter? Sure. We know what the issues are that are affecting this patient, and then we can all, you know, work harder to kind of make them feel better. Let's start 25 milligrams every night. Okay. Okay. Now is that for the blood pressure? It strictly up. affects blood pressure. It does not affect heart rate. His wife helps him out. They're the dynamic duo, and, you know, he's been on dialysis for uh, at least a few years now, and he's doing very well. Also. Any questions? No. Yeah. All right, you're good for another 10,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, doctor, All right. All right, we'll see you next month. You call us if you need us. I mean, you know, when they leave, they're happy. Our patients are happy. To, they actually will say, we're happy to come here because it's such a, an upbeat environment for them to come to. It's the best thing we ever did because he was, he was to the point where he could barely get off the sofa, and now we do everything we used to do. I'll be honest, I went home, and Joe attests to this, I went home many days in tears because I just knew I was never going to be able to learn it. It just seems like so much, but they're very patient and they'll train you as long as you need it until you're comfortable. So when we teach people how to do home dialysis, it's every aspect. When I'm ready to set them up, I gather the bags he's gonna need, the drain line, and this is a cassette. And this has all the lines to it. They know the machine, they know what solutions, they know what needle size, they know how to clean their arm before they put the needles in. They'll just hang on the machine and the machine tells it what to do. Before going on dialysis, it was, uh, I, I was kind of in the dumps and uh, wasn't feeling right. But once I went on dialysis, basically it changed that completely. I felt a lot better, 100% better, and uh, it's uh, an easy thing really to do. Oh my gosh, so it, it, it's just, it's a gift. It's, it's a gift. I mean, I don't know what it's like to have end-stage renal disease, but I see these people, like you said, when they come in and they start, and then when they're over that hump and they're saying, oh, you know, I gotta order supplies, I'm gonna go to North Carolina for two weeks, or I'm gonna go down and visit my kids. My, my heart just, I mean, I can't even describe, it's just uh, amazing. We just take the cycler along. And for Sinius, all I have to do is call them and put it in order what I need and they'll deliver it anywhere I want to go, anywhere in the world. They're a great group, i tell you that right now. And, uh, you couldn't find a better group anyplace, I think. I mean, these are people just like us. I mean, it, this could be us. 
You know, it could be us, it could be our family members, and that's, I wanted everyone treated as though it was their family member when they come in here.